Having ousted Kevin McCarthy, House Republicans are hitting trouble. Washington, AP, stalemated over a new House Speaker. The Republican majority is scheduled to convene behind closed doors to launch internal party voting but lawmakers warn it could take hours, if not days, to unite behind a nominee. After Kevin McCarthy's ouster, the two leading contenders Wednesday for the gavel, Majority Leader Steve Scalise and Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, appear to be splitting the vote among their Republican colleagues. They outlined their visions at a lengthy candidate forum ahead of the private balloting. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than McCarthy, meanwhile, who had openly positioned himself to reclaim the job he just lost, told his colleagues not to nominate him this time. Instead, at Tuesday's late evening candidate forum, he read a poem from Mother Teresa and delivered a unity prayer. I don't know how the hell you get to 218. Representative Troy Nels, R. Texas, said afterward, referring to the majority vote typically needed to seize the gavel. It could be a long week. House Republicans took the majority aspiring to operate as a team and run government more like a business, but have drifted far from that goal. Just 10 months in power, the historic ouster of their house. Speaker. A first in the U.S. and prolonged infighting has brought the House to a standstill at a time of crisis at home and abroad. Now, as House Republicans push ahead toward snap elections Wednesday aimed at finding a new nominee for Speaker, the hard-right coalition of lawmakers that ousted McCarthy has shown what an oversized role a few lawmakers can have in choosing the successor, Rep. Jim Jordan, R. Ohio, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee is followed by reporters as he leaves a meeting at the Capitol in Washington, Tuesday, October 10, 2023. House business and most congressional action has come to a standstill after Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, was ousted as Speaker by conservatives in his own party. AP photo, Jose Luis Magana. I am not thrilled with either choice right now, said Rep. Ken Buck, a Colorado Republican who voted to oust McCarthy. Both Scalise and Jordan are working furiously to shore up support. Both are easily winning over dozens of supporters and could win a majority of the 221 Republicans, but it's unclear if either Scalise or Jordan can amass the votes that would be needed from almost all Republicans to overcome opposition from Democrats during a floor vote in the narrowly split House. Usually, the majority needed would be 218 votes in the 435-seat House. But there are currently two vacancies, dropping the threshold to 217. Many Republicans want to prevent the spectacle of a messy House floor fight like the grueling January brawl when McCarthy became Speaker. People are not comfortable going to the floor with a simple majority and then having C-SPAN and the rest of the world watch as we have this fight, said Rep. Kat Kamek, R. Florida. We want to have this family fight behind closed doors. Some have proposed a rules change that Rep. Patrick McHenry, RNC, the interim Speaker pro tempore, is considering to ensure a majority vote during closed balloting Wednesday before the nominee is presented for a full-floor vote. McCarthy himself appeared to agree with a consensus approach. They shouldn't come out of there until they decide that they have enough votes for whoever they bring to the floor, McCarthy said. But short of a rules change, Republican lawmakers would be expected to agree to a majority wins process. Whichever candidate wins the internal private vote would be given the full backing of the Republicans on the House floor. It's no guarantee. With trust low among House Republicans and tensions high, those normal protocols could be challenged. Both Scalise and Jordan indicated they would support the eventual nominee, lawmakers said, but many lawmakers remained undecided. While both are conservatives from the right flank, neither Scalise nor Jordan is the heir apparent to McCarthy. Scalise as the second-ranking Republican would be next in line for the gavel and is seen as a hero among colleagues for having survived severe injuries from a mass shooting during a congressional baseball practice in 2017. Now battling blood cancer, the Louisianan is not a clear lock. We're going to go get this done, Scalise said as he exited the candidate forum. The House is going to get back to work. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than Jordan is a high-profile political firebrand known for his close alliance with Donald Trump particularly when the then-president was working to overturn the results of the 2020 election, leading to the January 6, 2021, attack on the Capitol. Trump has backed Jordan's bid for the gavel, Scalise then. Jordan presented similar views at the forum about cutting spending and securing the southern border with Mexico, top Republican priorities. Several lawmakers, including Rep. Matt Gates, are Florida.
who engineered McCarthy's ouster said they would be willing to support either Scalise or Jordan. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than I think it's a competitive race for Speaker because we've got two greats, said Representative Andy Barr, RKY. Barr said he was working to help secure votes for Scalise, but would be comfortable with either candidate. Others though, particularly more centrist conservative. Republicans from districts that are narrowly split between the parties, are holding out for another choice. Personally, I'm still with McCarthy, said Representative David Valadeo, a Republican who represents a California district not far from the former Speaker's district. We'll see how that plays out, but I do know a large percentage of the membership wants to be there with him as well. McCarthy headed into the evening forum insisting he was not, at the moment, a candidate for Speaker. But the California Republican gave a nod to his own short track record as Speaker, being ousted by the far right flank after he led Congress to approve a stopgap spending bill to prevent a disruptive federal government shutdown. I think it's important whoever takes the job is willing to risk the job for doing what's right for the American public, McCarthy said. For now, McHenry is effectively in charge. He has shown little interest in expanding his power beyond the role he was assigned, an interim leader tasked with ensuring the election of the next speaker. The role was created in the aftermath of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks to ensure the continuity of government. McHenry's name was at the top of a list submitted by McCarthy when he became Speaker in January, while some Republicans and Democrats are open to empowering McHenry the longer he holds the temporary position, that seems unlikely as the Speaker's fight drags on. McHenry told reporters it's my goal to keep to the schedule to hold a House Speaker election on Wednesday. He quickly gaveled the House in and out of a brief session Tuesday with no business conducted. Associated Press writers Farnu Shamiri and Stephen Groves contributed to this report. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise, Arla, talks to reporters as he leaves Republicans' closed-door forum to hear from the candidates for Speaker of the House, at the Capitol in Washington, Tuesday, October 10, 2023. House business and most congressional action has come to a standstill after Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, was ousted as speaker by conservatives in his own party. AP photo, Jose Luis Magana. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than former speaker Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, talks to reporters as House Republicans hold a closed-door forum to hear from the candidates for Speaker of the House, at the Capitol in Washington, Tuesday, October 10, 2023. House business and most congressional action has come to a standstill after Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, was ousted as speaker by conservatives in his own party. AP. Photo. J. Scott Applewhite, Rep. Matt Gates, R. Florida, leaves a meeting at the Capitol in Washington, Tuesday, October 10, 2023. Following the ouster of Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy of Califf, by a contingent of hard-right conservatives, the search for a new speaker may be decided this week. AP. Photo. Jose Luis Magana. Time equals. 400 Ms. greater than Rep. Nancy Mace, RSC, talks to reporters as he leaves Republicans' closed-door forum to hear from the candidates for Speaker of the House, at the Capitol in Washington, Tuesday, October 10, 2023. House business and most congressional action has come to a standstill after Rep. Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf, was ousted as Speaker by conservatives in his own party. AP Photo, Jose Luis Magana.